So today, guys, I bring you the patch notes for patch 5, which basically adds support for the DLC Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot, which comes alive on December 19th. Now, this patch will be applied to your consoles by the time you've probably watched this video. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Also guys, this video is brought to you in collaboration with 2K. Okay, so getting straight into these patch notes and first up new content added support for borderlands 3 dlc Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot which is live on december 19th stability fixes addressed a reported concern related to the grenade indicator widget addressed a reported concern related to the minimap widget fixed a crash that sometimes occurred when exiting the echo menu fixed a crash that sometimes occurred when a user attempted to load into a game after experiencing a network error. Console only. Fixed a rare crash that sometimes occurred in split screen when players leave the party. Fixed a rare crash that sometimes occurred after idling for 10 minutes. Xbox only. Fixed a crash that sometimes occurred in split screen on Xbox One. PC only. Improved network performance on PC to prevent hitching related to friends or networked games. Moving on to UI, improved inventory menu performance, improved performance when opening guardian rank menu, PC only, added support to immediately swap between glyph types when using auto detect, added numbered icons to the mayhem mode icon on the hood, addressed missing Japanese characters, addressed an issue where all functionality could be sometimes lost when pausing the options button within the mode menu before starting a game. Addressed an issue where mayhem mode icons on the hood would sometimes become inconsistent when adjusting difficulty. Addressed an issue where thumbnails and locked state could sometimes become incorrect when viewed in the inventory menu. Addressed an issue where vending machine thumbnails could sometimes be incorrect. Addressed an issue where the photo mode settings could sometimes scroll off the screen. PC only addressed an issue where the PC text chat UI would sometimes disappear after being opened for the second time during a cinematic. Addressed an issue where friend profile icons were sometimes not showing up correctly on the echo menu. Addressed an issue where the character icon sometimes failed to be present when viewing the friend's mail prompt in the mail menu. Addressed an issue where clients could sometimes lose functionality when opening the echo menu after exiting a vehicle. Console only. Addressed an issue where item cards would sometimes appear cut off when viewing items in chess in split screen. Console only. Addressed an issue where small icon cards would sometimes be displayed on the wrong player screen in split screen. Addressed an issue where clients who late join the takedown at the Maluan Black site would sometimes not have spectator mode button prompts. Addressed an issue where performance could sometimes be negatively impacted by pressing inputs of two different sources while spectating during the takedown at the Maluan Black site. Addressed an issue where primary and secondary stats could sometimes overlap on legendary artifact item cards. Addressed an issue where multiple notifications were sometimes being triggered after having completed a challenge. Moving on to missions, addressed a perceived progression blocker that sometimes occurred if the player jumped before Chad during the mission Swamp Roll. Addressed a perceived progression blocker where the objective Kill Rat sometimes wouldn't update during a mission The Family Jewel. Addressed a perceived progression blocker during a mission In the Shadow of the Starlight. Addressed a perceived progression blocker related to travelling between environments and Promethea. Addressed a reported concern where waypoints would sometimes fail to appear when obtaining a mission for an environment that hadn't been unlocked yet. Addressed a reported concern where players were sometimes unable to complete fast travel station zone progress when exploring Cathedral of the Twin Gods. Addressed multiple issues with the Echo Dialogue not playing. On to gameplay. Updated weapons wielded by CLV badass enemies to use bullet based variations to cut down on FX spam. Fixed a reported concern where guardian rank perks would sometimes be disabled for users that already unlocked them. 
addressed a reported concern where enemies would sometimes deal excessive damage to vehicles in true Vault Hunter mode. Addressed a reported concern where the Spider Hunt King enemy sometimes failed to launch the sticky projectile from his tail when performing a web pull attack. Addressed a reported concern that enemies might not spawn from warp anchors and drop ships. Addressed a reported concern that Zane's quick breather skill was sometimes not functioning. Addressed a reported concern that Zayn Shroud and Void's skill was sometimes not awarded the player shield restoration. Addressed a reported concern that Zayn's Pro Muni test, I believe that's pronounced, skill was sometimes not awarded the proper size clip on the first clip of the weapon the Digiclone is spawned with. Addressed a reported concern that Moses stainless steel bear would still sometimes not award the damage bonus to Iron Bear. Addressed a reported concern that moles would occasionally be ejected from the Iron Bear immediately after entering it. Addressed a reported concern that a client's camera would sometimes occasionally stutter and lose functionality after performing a moles downfall skill into a kill volume. Addressed a reported concern that Amara's indiscriminate skill would sometimes create lots of ricochet bullets when firing their legendary Madawan shotgun recursion. Addressed a reported concern that invulnerable shields would sometimes fail to block rounds fired from the legendary Madawan shotgun recursion. General added functionality to skip the intro movie once the video has fully loaded. Added vending machines to Skywild 27. Disabled access to photo mode during the fight of your life. Changed the default send mail error message to encompass additional issues. PC only, adjusted volume and attenuation to bring music volume up while playing in hi-fi mode on PC. Crew courtroom decorations now correctly use the rotation of the hook. Optimized challenges to prevent hitching when saving. Optimized challenge completion percentage computation to occur over multiple frames to prevent hitching. Fixed a reported concern where save game could sometimes get bloated with duplicate challenge data. Fixed a reported concern where save game data could sometimes have a minor leak. Fixed a reported concern where the game would not start up in correct resolution sometimes when using full screen mode and display scaling. Fixed a report of concern where the player could sometimes remain invisible after respawning. Fixed a report of concern where clients would sometimes not see Sanctuary 3 fast travel stations until they were already in the map. Fixed a report of concern where the D-pad would sometimes not change selections in a Sanctuary 3 fast travel list. Fixed a report of concern where clients might not unlock fast travel stations after using the fast forward feature. Fixed a report of concern where environments could sometimes appear unnaturally bright due to time of day errors. Fixed a report of concern where vehicle boost effects could sometimes appear black. Fixed a typo for the spelling of the immune text pop in German. Fixed a report of concern where some strings for the key binding uh, menu were not localized. Fixed a report of concern where the badass event icon could sometimes show up when the event had been deactivated when using the Echo Cast Twitch extension. Fixed a report of concern where cryo destructible poses sometimes did not match character when in Ragdoll. Console only. Fixed a report of concern where the custom waypoint hint text would sometimes appear in the zone map in non current environments on console. Console only again. Fixed a report of concern where photo mode filters sometimes weren't working properly with HDR, console only. Fixed a report of concern where Vault Hunter profile cards sometimes didn't pull from local data for split screen players, causing a mismatch in presentation. Fixed a report of concern where the client would sometimes see an unresponsive black screen after accepting an invite during the intro movie. And PC only fixed a report of concern where the Vault Hunter profile cards on Epic Game Store were sometimes not showing properly. And guys, those are the patch notes for the latest patch, which is patch 5. Again, adding support for the new DLC, which comes out on December 19th, mocked its heist of the handsome jackpot. Nothing major here in terms of changes. I mean, a few issues, a few bugs people were having problems with. But other than that, it's mainly just stability and UI changes to make the game run a lot smoother with less hitches.
Now, as you guys know, as soon as the DLC comes out on the 19th, I will have all aspects of this covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you are new around here and love those Borderlands videos. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. But on that note, we have come to the end, guys. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.